Hi guys and welcome back to our Love as One mini Easter series. It is Wednesday and we are halfway through. We know yesterday that we asked you to do something that you might find a little bit difficult and that's okay if you didn't do it but we really hope that you gave it a go and you had fun trying. We know that when we step outside our comfort zone God loves it and he can bless us through that. So are you comfortable and ready to hear our next story? And it's taken from our children's Bible again and it is called The Last Supper. On the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal, your Passover meal? He said, enter the city, go up to a certain man and say, the teacher says my time is near. I and my disciples plan to celebrate the Passover meal at your house. The disciples followed Jesus' instructions to the letter and prepared the Passover meal. So after sunset, he said he and the twelve were sitting around the table during the meal, he said, I have something hard but important to say to you. One of you is going to hand me over to the men who want to kill me. They were stunned and then began to ask one after another, it isn't me is it master, it's not me is it? Jesus answered, the one who hands me over is someone I eat with daily, the one who passes me food at the table. In one sense, the son of man is going to experience things well marked by the scriptures no surprises here. In another sense, that man who turns him in turns traitor to the Son of Man. Better never to have been born than to do this. Then Judas, already turned traitor, said, It isn't me, is it, Rabbi? Jesus said, Don't play games with me, Judas. During the meal, Jesus took and blessed the bread. He broke it and gave it to his disciples. This is my body. Taking the cup and thanking God, he gave it to them. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood. God's new covenant poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I'll not be drinking wine from this cup again until that new day when I'll drink with you in the kingdom of my Father. They sang a hymn and went directly. Just as the disciples were, I don't know about you, but I am absolutely amazed that Jesus knew one of them was going to betray him in such a horrific way. One of the 12 people who Jesus walked with, ate with daily. This person was going to lead him to his death. If we were in Jesus' situation, what would you do? What would you say? Jesus could have just easily said, Judas, I know it's you. Just get out. You're not welcome here. But no, not our king. Our king, his heart is bigger than we can just ever imagine. And then Jesus leaves them, us, with a gift. At the Last Supper, Jesus was telling another parable. But this time he was actually acting it out himself. So Jesus took some bread and he blessed it and gave it to us, telling us to eat, do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup and said, this is my blood, drink this in remembrance of me. Jesus said, this is a gift for the people who follow him. When we learn what Holy Communion means and are baptised and living a new life in Christ, we get to share with the body of Christ, our church family, in, in taking the body and blood as a symbol of what he did for us. And Jesus tells us to keep remembering through communion until he returns again. And on that day, he says, I will drink with you in the kingdom of my father. So now we're just going to take time to just think about what Jesus has done. <coughs> Sorry.
So let's just close our eyes so we don't get distracted. And I wonder how still you can be. Because when we're really still and we're quiet and we're listening, God can give us signs and give us pictures to see something that he wants us to see. So we're just going to close our eyes. Jesus, as we praise you today with the words, love has won, help us to come before you with utter gratitude and amazement of your love and holiness. Help us to remember you through our challenge today and sing of your goodness always. Amen. had lost creation held its breath there in the tomb it felt like death conquered you creation held its breath then your light broke through up from the grave Okay, so a challenge is to make a cob uh, with your family, a cob of bread. And when it's ready, you can put it into pieces. And when you take your piece and eat your piece, you can eat it and remember that Jesus' body was broken for you. And there'll be a few things you need to make this. And these are just one of many recipes we can find online. So have a look which one suits you best, or you can buy a bread mix. So I hope they turn out okay, and don't forget to remember Jesus when you eat your piece. <laughs>